yeah, right away a Pronto and a little Thesaurus, chasing Wadjabs, that's always nice. And another, oh my goodness, let's get away from here. Hello guys and welcome back to a new series of Ark Survival Evolved. My name is Strain from Dino Gaming and today I'm gonna make a video what was requested a long 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 time ago. Uh, actually I'm gonna show you how to start an Ark. Um, and yeah, without further ado, let's just get into this video. So yeah, first point, um, where to spawn. You can see we actually I actually played the game before, so this is not a new world. That's why you can see all the map, and we already built the bats. Um, and yeah, I would recommend spawning in South Zone 1, or 2 or 3. Um, they are all easy. Uh, so, if you're a beginner, uh, these three are perfect. Uh, I would recommend spawning in South Zone 1, but there's only one problem, uh, as you can see here, uh, there's our base, so I'm gonna do this video in South Zone 2. Let's spawn. Yeah, right away, a Pronto and a little Thesaurus, chasing Wadjabs, that's always nice, and another, oh my goodness, let's get away from here. Um, now, as you can see, I'm a little bit faster than you are if you start a new arc. Because, uh, yeah, actually, I'm level uh, 61 right away. Um, and I also got some stupid stuff in here. Uh, we might need that one. And the rest, get rid of it. Um, so, a lot of people think first thing you do is looking for the best point to have a home or yeah something like that but I don't know I wouldn't really recommend doing that um, yeah I would just start with something like a farming uh, yeah and there's the next point the stats um, I because I'm a little teacher uh, play with taming times four actually uh, and XP times 3 um, that's gonna help you in many many situations uh, when you start so you can reset those settings um, when you're maybe level 50 and you got a little infrastructure and some dinosaurs um, and I also play with ti uh, farming times when I actually see uh, where's the rock? Five. Timing times five. Uh, <laughs> Far farming times five. Yeah, there you go. And um, I also did something uh, like have a longer day. So the nights I play with are extraordinarily short. Um, it, they are like one minute, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> uh, yeah, and that's really hard. Are you kidding me? I don't even have anything. Oh, come on. Yeah, pick a must Texas. Um, is he still coming? Please say he's not coming. So, yeah. Um, what you should do to level up. Uh, the f best way to level up is just... Um, it's not taming creatures or doing stuff like that uh, and farming, it's uh, building structures and stuff like that. Uh, so yeah, actually, yeah, you can see here how good farming times 5 can be. Um, now, to the Ingram points. Uh, let's say you got some wood, you got some stone and something like that. Then let's check our Ingram points. Yeah, I got some more than you. And this is actually from a mod, so uh, please ignore all this DNA stuff. Um, 
What I would go for is just a stone hatchet and a campfire. Don't go for a spear. I never used it so far. Um, I'm just saying you could do that. I went for it after some time, but if you have that many uh, increment points, three increment points doesn't really matter. Oh, a water skin. I didn't unlock that yet. That's a problem. So, what you should go for first is actually the stone hatchet uh, and the campfire. So, let's go into here crafting. Uh, please ignore all this stuff. It just this does matter. And this, and this, and this, and this, and this. Yeah, you see. Let's m make some of them because you might need more than just one. Uh, now. Yeah, come on, craft it. There you go. Um, you will need some flint for, I guess, the stone hedge and the campfire. Yes, and some more thatch. Now, where do you get what from? If you farm, now this is not really complicated. It's just logic. Um, if you farm stone with a, a pickaxe, you get a lot of flint. Uh. Uh, not that much stone Yeah, I demonstrate that see you get some flint some metal and some st uh, So some stone some metal and a lot of flint if you farm uh, Trees with a pickaxe you get a lot of thatch and not that much wood um, So yeah, and the other thing is if you had a hatchet like that this one here Let's just craft that um and then you farm wood for trees. It makes kind of sense that you get a lot of wood. And if you farm rocks though, you get a lot, a lot of rocks. Uh, but I don't think you get any iron. So if you need rocks, farm uh, rocks with a, a stone hatchet and not with a pickaxe. And uh, there you go. Th 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 that's kind of better. Um, and yeah, now the next step. We actually just gotta level up. So <clears throat> I would recommend leveling up your stamina first, and then um, stamina and uh, movement speed. Because later in the game you want to tame something like raptors and it's really really <laughs> useful um, if you can I, if you can outrun a raptor um, <clears throat> and you will need your stamina for a lot of other things uh, yeah so it's just better being fast and it's <clears throat> also kind of cool if you want to farm something like a Parasaurolophus, that's it. Because uh, these things are fast. If you're a low level player, um, so like level 5, don't even try running after a Parasaurolophus. Uh, they are damn quick. Um, not as quick as Raptors, uh, but so this would be awesome. This would be awesome uh, for you to happen. If you got a Parasaurolophus like this in a tree and you just can't tame it. If you don't know how to tame a par Parasaurolophus, uh, I made a video about that. <laughs> so it would be great if you could watch it. Uh, if you don't know. Um, what? it you're doing there buddy well never mind uh, let's go back to what we actually wanted to do now um, I first said don't look for the right place to build your home now it would be great if your home wouldn't be like next to a pack of raptors or a sarco or t-rex <laughs> so oh uh, well, uh, 
but we'll quickly eat something. There you go. Uh, oh, a node. Okay, well. The ammonite. Ammonite, ammonite? Oh, I don't know. So. Yeah, we. That doesn't help now. That does not help. Thank you. Uh, so yeah, just. Oh, what happened there? Um, look for a place what is not too kind of busy. So something like here would be great. Uh, but first, make sure there's no Sarko in the water attacking you. If they're piranhas, that's okay. They <laughs> luckily they don't have the ability to walk on land. So here would be actually a great place to place a great place to place a campfire, like maybe around here, because we will need this space here for our little home. Now we got another upgrade and we are gonna use for stamina uh yeah the i would recommend having all of these things so let's start with that um so i would guess the important things are um the shirt and the trouser and the hat I guess. Oh, so that, that's just my opinion. Um, use it, thank you. And then we can do this. And this, and then we are super cool looking. Or, aren't you? Uh, yeah, we could also do this, but this looks kind of weird. I will show you. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I, no I, I'm, not, I, I'm not gonna do this. Uh, skin, there you go. So yeah, that looks pretty damn cool, doesn't it? So now, we will need some hide. Uh, oh, you poor little bugger. I am so sorry. But I will need to hide. Now, uh, for farming bodies. The hatchet is super cool for getting hide and stuff like that. If you want to get meat, farm it with a stone pickaxe. I don't know why. It's just the game made it like that and... Yeah. Okay. Uh, so... We wanted to build over here, let's see. Yeah, there you go. Uh, open it. Uh, let's put in you. Well, not actually all of you say off and this will be fine uh, now we can craft this as well as the water skin you will need a water skin uh, it's the annoying thing in the world if you don't have a water skin and you're like farming of your new parasaurolophus in the forest and then you're diatrading that's so annoying believe me you don't want to do this um, then let's Get some wood. Um, and here also, if you got some movement speed and some stamina. Oh, there are some totos over there. <gasps> I want to have them. <gasps> uh, yeah, later. Um, if you have some movement speed and some stamina, look for weight, because uh, being uh, encumbered is not always a nice thing. As you can see right here, I can't move. I can't just turn myself, for whatever reason. <laughs> um, well, that's not what we are here for. Now, uh, let's say some more weight. Um, and then uh, to our base. Let's see, two times three, I guess that should be fine. Let's craft all of them. Let's craft one of these and no, not 14. Let's say 3 or four, 4 of these. Now, I'm quickly gonna build a little camp or something like that. 
And then I will bring you guys back in a minute. Bye bye. So yeah guys, are you ready? Uh, it took me like half an hour, but this is it. Uh, uh, this is the guy that well, attacked us before. Don't care about him. This is the actual base. Um, we got some light over here, uh, and this is the main door. Uh, yeah, we got our little seat. We can sit down and just stare at the table all day long and do nothing. And then we also can sit on the table. Yeah, you know, uh, we got a little balcony here. So. And yeah, of course, our fireplace stone there. Uh, and yeah, uh, actually, I did a little. Um, uh, rating. That's it. That's it. I did a little rating. Yeah, there you go. Um, and yeah, you don't have to do that. That's just for good measure. Um, and remember, guys, we are not <laughs> playing Minecraft. Uh, you can't jump uh, over a railing, so don't be like, oh yeah, I will build a maybe 12 time this building up high, so there are 12 floors or 20 or 100 or something ridiculous like that. And then um, I'm gonna make a railing up there and I'm safe, I can never fall down. Yeah. I mean, I don't think you're ever gonna do that, but uh, I just wanted to warn you. Now, actually, um, the fireplace is good. If you don't know this, uh, I guess you know this. Um, you can make uh, cooked meat with that. Um, what will bring you 20 hunger points? So, it will bring 20 food. Uh, if you eat normal meat, um, I guess you get, um, so if you eat raw meat, like this one here, um, eating raw food will s say, t oh, it's, of course it's raining. It never rains, but now when I start recording, it's gonna rain, of course, why actually not? Um, yeah, you will get some hunger, but your health is gonna drop a little bit. I will demonstrate it right now. Now. Oh. Or actually not, so let's do this. See? We are gaining 10 food and we are losing 5 health. If we eat uh, cooked meat, we gain some health and we gain uh, 20 food. So let's just do this two more times. Um, yeah. Uh, I said two more times. Thank you very much. Now, um, if meat spoils, you will get spoiled meat. Wow. Uh, but never ever throw spoiled meat away. You will need this thing for narcotics. Uh, and there's the next point we have. Uh, we have got a. Uh, Mortar and pastel, so let's go into this inventory. I made some stuff here. But actually just ignore this. Um you will need some narco berries and the raw well uh, spoiled meat. And then you go here to drugs and here there you have it, narcotic. Narcotic na narcotic, that's it. Thank you very much. Uh, oh there's another one, let's do another one. Um and with these narcotics, you can uh, knock yourself out. <laughs> and, uh, okay, that, that, that's not it, luckily. You can... Oh, it, I just wanted to say it stopped raining. Let's go back to the house. Thank you. Um, well, if you are in here, it's not raining out there, or is it? Hello? Hello? Oh no. Uh, let's play Seek and Hive of the Rain. <laughs> now, actually, you can tranquilize 
you can't tranquilize things with that they have to be tranquilized <laughs> what makes kind of se oh that's it please come on that little bugger where are you going well never mind uh, so yeah now um, to what we have in here mortar and pestle I just showed you we have a sleeping bag what is actually and uh, it has the same function as bats you can make fast travel with the hello thank you very much you can uh, make fast travel um, by using these and also when you die when you're as clever as me and you die all the time from attacking god know what um, god knows what um, oh wait is little bugger following us uh, just call him bugger doesn't matter he's still a bugger oh no he's not um, he's a nice bugger uh, yeah you can just say I don't spawn in a random location I was spawned at my home. Oh, hello, Mr. Parasaur. Um, what this is? No, Mr. was right. So yeah, now this is actually almost all you will need at your home. Oh, and yeah, I also built a home kind of like this. I like this spot actually. I don't know. I never played here before. That's a little bit of a shame, but uh, it doesn't matter. Uh, you know, it's a little bit hidden. Even if there would be a little raptor here, or just the arc call them raptors. Uh, so let's just say raptor over here. He wouldn't be able to attack you. So that's quite nice. What means you can just stand up here, shooting tranquilizer arrows, darts, or, or rocks at a raptor, knock it out, and then you can tame it. And you can also fly on these rocks if you didn't. No. See, we are. Uh, yeah. Well, um. We are flying. So no, actually, uh. What dinosaurs would I tame first? So, oops. Uh, actually, um, I would not start with the Pigomastax, so let's just get rid of you. Um, I would start by taming uh, either a Parasaurolophus, um, or a Dodo. Um, you can also tame something like a Dilophosaurus um, or a Mushups because I guess, I'm not quite sure, I guess you can ride these things now uh, and they are kind of fast not the fastest in the game but you're kind of fast um, you know actually I got some materials with me so I Speaking of the Dilophosaurus, uh, the only thing they can do is being nasty. Uh, yeah, that's it. Um, so, I am not going to show you how to tame these creatures in this video because that would, would make this video way too long. Way too long. Um, I. Uh, yeah, I guess that's actually it. I don't think there's really much more I can tell you about this from now. Um, yeah, we got this. Don't throw away spoiled meat. Oh yeah, y you can also use uh, the uh, charcoal um, for making gunpowder. What is actually quite amazing. <laughs> um, so let's make my more of you. Uh, yeah, because you will need it for your guns. 
makes kind of sense. So now, actually, I I would say this would end this episode here, cause from now I want I don't want to spoiler everything and uh, take the game fun, cause if I show you where to find metal, where to find crystals. Uh, and how to do a lot of amazing stuff. I mean, I could do that, but then it wouldn't be fun anymore. You know, you couldn't go like discovering stuff and figuring figuring out where what is. And there are YouTubers doing actually this. Um, yeah, but you will figure out. Um, actually, when you are maybe level 50 I guess you will spread a little bit out uh, of the map and you will maybe take a raptor make a nice little tour around the map discover a lot of things and yeah I so yeah that's gonna wrap it up here um, if you enjoyed the video leave a like uh, subscribe what was that a, we we can never do uh, outro without any ah doesn't matter. Let's do it again. So if you like the video, smash the like button. Leave uh, the uh, okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um. So first of all, thank you for watching. If you like the video, um, leave a like. Subscribe to the channel. Check out our website. F uh, make sure you follow us on Facebook. Um, leave a comment below if I um, forget to tell something. But I guess I got almost everything. If this is not though, just write it in the comments. Yeah, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.